I'll start with what managed competition is not. There's been um, a number of conversations about this, particularly with our employees. Um, managed competition is first and foremost not the same as outsourcing. It is also not a way to circumvent our existing agreements or memoranda of understanding, and it's not something that we intend to do to our employees. In fact, as the mayor mentioned, we've met with our employee representatives time and again on the managed competition program because employees must be very involved in the process for it to work effectively. Managed competition is intended to be a structured and transparent process that allows an open and fair comparison of public sector employees and independent contractors and in their ability to deliver services to our citizens. And it's a strategy that recognizes the potential of public sector employees to become innovative, to um, be resourceful, and to get more efficient and effective in the way that they deliver their services. We intend to subject all of our fun functions, aside from those that involve public safety, um, being specifically policing, firefighting, and lifeguarding, to managed competition. However, being subject to managed competition does not mean that a function will undergo competitive procurement. Being subject to managed competition means that we will, in fact, do a pre-competition assessment, which is the first stage in managed competition, to determine if a function is appropriate for competitive procurement. And I'll talk a bit more in a moment about what questions we'll, we'll be asking to see if something is appropriate for managed competition. Um, but certainly we recognize that functions that are inherently governmental or so intimately related to the public interest as to require performance by government employees should not be competitively sourced. <laughs> 